friends. Welcome to our Mathematics Student Support Program for Grade 7. Today, you will be introduced to the concept of algebra. You will also be introduced to symbols, terms, variables, coefficients, constants, like and unlike terms. At the end of each part, you will be given some exercises for you to practice. So let's begin. Algebra comes from the Arabic word al-jabr, meaning reduction. It was first used in 1551. The origin of algebra can be traced back to the Babylonians, ancient Egyptians and ancient Greeks. You can also find out more on the history of algebra from the internet. We have just learned that algebra means reduction. But what is algebra really? Mathematics has different branches. Algebra is a branch of mathematics. It deals with symbols and rules for manipulating operations. A recap of what operation we will be dealing with are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. What are these symbols we are talking about? Symbols represent quantities with unknown values, also known as variables. Let's have a look at example 1. Think of a number, then add 5 to it. What is the answer? Let the number that we are thinking of be this box. This box symbol represents the number we are thinking of. We don't know what it is, but if I am adding 5 to it, then the answer can be written as the box plus 5. This is the statement. Let's have a look at example 2. Chiara has some chocolates and she ate 4 of them. How many chocolates are there? Let the number of chocolates be this symbol. The symbol triangle is representing the number of chocolates Chiara has. She ate 4, that is, the number of chocolates left should be less. Therefore, we take away 4 from the triangle, which leads us to this statement. The triangle minus 4. Exercise 1, you need to circle the correct answer. Instead of using symbols to represent unknown quantities, we can also use letters. It is more convenient to use letters. Let's try an example by using a letter. It can be any alphabet of your choice, known as the variable. As long as you define the variable clearly. Let's try this example by using an alphabet representing an unknown quantity. Think of a number, add 7 to it. What is the resulting number? Let x be the unknown number. Resulting number could be written as x plus 7. Example 4. Juliet had 10 biscuits. She ate some of them. How many are left? Let y represent the number of biscuits she has eaten. Therefore, the number of biscuits left is equal to 10 minus y. Algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions are the combination of variables, operators and constants that are put together 
to represent the value of something. Here is an example. A plus 7 is an algebraic expression. A represents the variable plus represents the operator and 7 represents the constant. When there are two or more variables in an algebraic product, we write them in alphabetical order. For example, m multiplied by n is equal to mn. mn is written in alphabetical order. Note, we usually omit writing 1 before a variable. For example, 1 multiplied by a is equal to a multiplied by 1 is equal to a and not 1a. Let's have a look at terms, coefficients and constant terms. A term consists of a coefficient and a variable. For example, 3x plus 4y consists of two terms, 3x and 4y, separated by plus operator. The number placed before a term is called the coefficient of that variable. In 5z, 5 is the coefficient of variable z. A constant term is a term with no variable. For example, in x plus 6, 6 is the constant term. Therefore, algebraic expression 4a plus 7. The coefficient of a is 4, the operator is the plus, and the constant term is 7. Here is an exercise for you to practice. Now, let's have a look at example 5. Air Football Club won 10 matches and had 3 draws. The points for winning a match is A and for a draw is B. What is the total points for Air FC? Points for 10 wins is equal to 10 multiplied by points for one win, which is equal to 10 multiplied by A, therefore 10A. Points for three draws is equal to 3 multiplied by points for one draw, that is 3 multiplied by B, which is 3B. The total points for Air FC will be 10A plus 3B. Here is an exercise for you to practice. Some more exercises. Now, let's have a look at like and unlike terms. Like terms have exactly the same variable and also exactly the same variable combination. For example, like terms a, 2a, 5a and minus 7a are like terms since they have the same variable a. Another example, a square b, 3a square b and minus 6a square b are like terms since they have exactly the same variable combinations. 
Otherwise, they are called unlike terms. For example, 3a, 4b and minus 9c are unlike terms. Another example of unlike terms, a square b and a b square. Now let's stop and think about this question. Are 3a b and 5b a like or unlike terms? Let's have an example. Study the algebraic expressions below. 3x plus 5y minus xy plus y plus 3xy minus 7x. Can you identify the like terms? Now, in this algebraic expression, we have 3x and minus 7x, which are like terms. Next, we have 5y and y, which are like terms. And finally, we have minus xy and 3xy as like terms. Here is an exercise for you to practice. Today we have talked about definition of algebra, symbols, variables and operators, algebraic expressions, terms, coefficients and constants. And finally we have talked about like and unlike terms. Here are some interesting links for you to check out. Friends, we have reached the end of our program. Hope you have enjoyed it. You are advised to work out the exercises with your friends, teachers or even your parents. Till next time, it's goodbye.